You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today, over on the Sales Success Stories Podcast, I've just released Ryan O'Hara's complete presentation titled 20 Actionable Prospecting Tips in 30 Minutes that he presented at last year's Sales Success Summit. There's some really great stuff in there, and we all had a ton of fun with Ryan in that talk. Here's just a little sampler. I believe these are his tips number two, number three, and number 24 from that talk. Here's Ryan O'Hara from Lead IQ. Tactic number two and a good way to get a higher increase on your response rates is you need to hype your touches. So many sales reps that are out there today will be on the phone with someone and they'll be like, oh, can you send me more info? And they're like, what kind of info? And then they give something and they're like, all right, I'll send it to you. And they get off the phone. Our whole job is to be excited. And we want to make our our touches excited. So you got to hype your stuff. That means you should be saying something like, I'm going to send you the greatest email you've ever seen. Now, remember earlier, Dale Dupree talked about not doing gimmicks and stuff. That brings me to point number three. You need to live up to the hype afterward. Actually send a damn good email. That's a picture of my mom. She apparently thinks I'm a huge disappointment in this. I I don't know why I didn't put this picture in now. It just makes it look bad. But the idea is that you should follow the litmus test of if any cold email or cold call you had ever got posted online, you should be proud of it. That's a really easy litmus test that you should get your whole team to think about. If I make shitty macaroni art and my mom puts it on the fridge, I should be proud of that macaroni art. And that's how you want this to be. So make sure you do that stuff. When you're just starting out, no one's going to see your post. No one's going to relate to it. The cool part is we're all a group here and we all can help each other and support each other from this event. If you want people to react and go act off of the things that you're doing, make stuff with your prospects. They don't have to be customers. I'm going to show you something that's going to make me look like a huge jerk because I think Scott was on my podcast at one point. If I get an email that says, thanks uh, thanks for your email, we're not interested this time, I'm fine with that. It's a reply. I can pull that person out of my sequence and stop reaching out to them. But here's the other cool thing I could do. I could say, you know what? It's obviously not a good time to buy. I'm going to have this person in my podcast. So I'll go have this person in my podcast. And guess what we do over that hour of laughing and recording and splashing water at each other somehow? It just got really weird. (laughs) You know it's happening. But guess what I can do? I can now actually go and say I know that person. We usually get on a text basis after. Like I text everyone that that I've had on my podcast. And what the other cool part is, I'll go post that podcast and tag that person. If any of you can do it, you all know how to talk if you work in sales. Like if you don't know how to talk, then I don't know, you could do you can write a book or something. But <laughs> I put a podcast out, I tag that person, I give them the file to put on their own LinkedIn, they post it out. All the people that come and engage on the podcast with that person, I can then prospect those people. And we all know each other, like we all know other VPs of sales and VPs of marketing and stuff. So all these people come in and like them and I'll prospect them and go, oh my gosh, it's another prospect. And honestly, I'm a huge jerk. Look how many episodes I've done, right? Half these people that I've done stuff with, I actually think that they have some cool insight and you should definitely check out my podcast, but I'm not plugging that. What I'm plugging is I've done a ton of these episodes and the re- like half the reason I'll do some of these is because these guys will be like, I want to break in this account. And I'm like, all right, I'll get to know them a little bit more. And you know what will happen? Five or six months later, they'll come in and they will actually turn into a customer inbound. And we'll give it credit back to the SDR for that. If you want to hear the other 22 tips that Ryan shared, then either just jump over to the Sales Success Stories podcast for that episode, or as always, we'll have links for you at dailysales.tips forward slash 514. And it's also worth noting that if you join the listener list while you're there on the dailysales.tips website, I'll be glad to send you the video of your choice from a previous sales success summit, including this one featuring Ryan. Once you've done all of that, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 